Hey, Lobos, Ben Johnson here to teach you how to do a picture-in-picture -picture recording with Wii Video. It's uh, screencasting, but a little bit more powerful, a little bit more complicated. Um, we're going to switch to Wii Video, which is a, a tool that we have a pro account for. So to get to the pro account, you go to bit.ly slash rmhs Wii Video. Again, that's bit.ly slash rmhs Wii Video. That's going to take you to the district's pro account. You'll join with an existing account. And you'll choose your PSD Google account. Um, the first thing that you probably want to do when you get here is uh, go to projects. And you can make a new a new project. So I'll click the plus sign down here. And I'm just going to call this um, picture in picture example. And what the picture-in-picture -picture example is going to do is allow you to be on the screen with um, whatever you want to show on the desktop of the computer. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one-to-one -one, um, option. You can try these others, but I've had the best luck here with the one-to-one, -one, and I'll hit next. It'll show you video that you've already recorded, but I'm just going to not add any of that and just go next. And then I'm finally just going to hit create video. And I'll just go with a blank edit, start from scratch. And now we're finally ready to go. Here's all the pre-made video, but you want to skip to my media. And you want to record, which is going to allow you to record your screen and your webcam. And so you can choose webcam screen or screen and webcam. And uh, in this instance, we're going to do screen and webcam. And then I'll do next. Okay, and then it's going to ask um, what device you want to record with. And so I'll just use the, um, let's see, not sure which, evidently it's working because it's getting my video. And so I'm going to use the Logitech uh, microphone. All right. And then I'll go ahead and hit next. And then it's going to ask, do I want to do my entire screen or um, some other application? And so I'll just go ahead and do the entire screen. So you could have your, uh, so I'll click that. You could have your syllabus up or whatever the case is. And then I'll hit share. And so now it's going to do a countdown, and uh, at this point it's going to be recording whatever I have on my screen as well as my um, webcam of me. And so at this point you could have your Google Slides show up, your syllabus, a map, a diagram, even a movie, um, whatever it is that you're wanting to record. And at this point you would go ahead and explain the the map or your syllabus or the movie that you're watching and uh, talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about. Okay. If you're on a tablet, you could even be annotating with a, a whiteboard. You could just Google um, whiteboard and it'll bring a whiteboard up in the browser that you can annotate. Okay, um, and then when you're done in Wii Video, you would just go ahead and stop the uh, screen sharing down here at the bottom. And then it's going to show you what recorded from you and also your screen. You could play that, and if you like it, save it or record again if you don't like it. I'll just pretend like I like it, so I save it. And it puts it on the... Um, on your bookshelf here, I guess this is what it's called. And, uh, and it puts it down on the timeline for you also. And so what you do at this point is decide where do you want your your picture to appear. So I'll click that. And then, let's see. If I double click this, so what you need to do, sorry, is double click your, your webcam and you can change the scale of it. So if you want to make yourself bigger, you can do that. Um, 
whatever you want to do. So go ahead and change the, those options. Um, you can flip yourself around. You can flip the direction of the screen. So if you were doing some writing and it was backwards, um, because of the way the webcam records, you could you could flip that. So um, anyway, you can make all those changes. Probably what you'll do is is drag this around on the screen and resize it and position it in a way that you you like. And then I'll just hit save changes, and then we would assume that um, you know your syllabus or whatever is in the background. Now, if you want to crop this, because uh, maybe it wasn't really until you got to the the map here that you wanted to save this, you could just move this play head right here and then hit the uh, scissors and um, just go ahead and also do the same thing down below. So I'll just add that down below to 49.18, just putting it in the same spot and chopping that video. And then we can just delete these using the delete button on the keyboard and then just pull them back to where you want them to go. Okay, so th th this is all more advanced than doing screencast-o-matic, which is why I prefer that tool for real simple uh, things. Um, it'll take a minute for these videos to render depending on how long you recorded so just be um, patient and wait for that to happen but again to to move your picture and picture around you're just going to double click this move it where you want it to be and uh, size it in a way that you want to size it okay and you can change any of these uh, also if you wanted to blur the background um, <laughs> didn't mean to blur that background um, lots of options there, so I'll just save those changes. Okay, and then um, once you're all done, and and you could continue if you needed to record some more, you could go ahead and record the next section doing using that same technique. So it just gives you this is a full video editor, um, and it makes it more complicated but more powerful too. So when you're all finished, you're just going to hit the um, finish button here, um, give it a name. So I'll just do PIP We Video example. Set the name of that. Then you can pick high definition, and then you can decide where you want it to go. So you can have it go to your Google Drive. You can have it go to YouTube, and you can even have a copy of it in We Video. Um, Mark video as public means people are going to be able to find it, so um, just make sure there's no personal information in there if you've recorded anything with your students. And then finally you can just hit export. It's probably going to ask me what YouTube account I want it to go to, and um, or it might just know based on my PSD credentials um, that it's going to put it there. Anyway, depending on how long your video is, it, this process may take quite some time. I made a very short video, so um, it probably isn't going to take very long. But if you recorded something, say, 10-15 minutes long, uh, this this part may take some time, depending on um, your internet connection from home. At school, if you're plugged into a landline, it's uh, into a Ethernet cable on your desktop it's really fast but um, at home some of us don't have the luxury of that fast internet so just be patient while that waits and finishes rendering um, when it's done it's going to send you an email link to your video um, in your it makes a um, in your Google Drive it makes a folder called we video and it will place that video in your Google Drive and you can um, access it from there and you can add that to your Google Classroom or wherever you want. Um, in YouTube it's also going to place it in that folder uh, in your district folder and so you can see here are the different options that I have and if I went to my um, 
Google Drive, I would uh, also see that there. So um, at this point, if I went to my Google Classroom, it may take a bit to, to find that or for that to upload into my Google Classroom. So let's just see if I can add that now. So I'll go into my classroom, go to classwork, and uh, create an assignment. Let's see if that video is is already there. So I'll hit Add, Google Drive, and uh, there it is. Yep, it's, it's already there. So I'm ready to add that for my students to watch now. And I could go ahead and put that in a topic if I want. I'll just put it in the Getting Started folder, and then I could assign that to my students. And now when my students go into my Google Classroom, they're going to be able to click on that, that assignment and um, watch that video that I just made with, the, uh, with that picture in picture. So I'm um, pretty slick, a little bit more complicated than doing screencast o -matic, but you have a lot more functionality there too. So um, give it a try, see how it goes. Send me an email if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this episode.